may know, in November of 2019, Nickelodeon and Netflix inked a deal that saw most of Nick's IPs go to Netflix. The deal also has Nick make new shows for Netflix based off of new and existing IPs. The deal was struck so both ends can compete against platforms like Disney Plus and HBO Max. Well, I see desperation. You probably know that Viacan can't do, couldn't do streaming or new media for the life of them, even after merging with CBS. Ever wonder why South Park is on HBO Max? Viacom owns shows all over different platforms, and it was just impossible to find the show you wanted. Here's a fun fact. Viacom's former head, Philip Doman, reportedly hated new media. Well, that explains a few things. Netflix is obviously desperate. With multiple companies making their own streaming service, they're pulling their programs off of Netflix and onto those. Netflix obviously still wants to complete and for children's programming. Who better than ask on a network that's owned by the company that is way behind? But this is a problem. You see, back in 2016, Nick was making a few shows. Namely, Pinky Malinky, Blitz Checks, and later Meet the Voxels, now called Rob Voxel. But, as production went on for them, and some of them even had seasons completed, Nick just sat on them for the longest time. No new release dates, no news on them, just barely anything, and they kept getting delayed and delayed until finally, with this Netflix deal, they got screwed over and just dumped onto the platform with little fanfare. This sucks. I mean, come on. Does the SpongeBob principle apply before a show is aired? Oh, come on. That SpongeBob principle pretty much killed the show and it got banished to Nicktoons if it didn't get as high ratings as SpongeBob from the beginning. That sucks. And now they want it to. It's like they're trying to apply it before a show even exists anymore. Oh my gosh. And being shipped out to Netflix, they're not being recommended because Netflix just wants to recommend their crappy shows instead of the shows that might be actually worth watching. And this is the same too because Pinky and Winky, Good Sex, and Rob Voxel are pretty good. I mean, by the time you might be watching this again, Rob Voxel will be out because I'm, record I'm recording this before it's out, but you know. Ugh, it sucks. Especially Glitch Sex, that's a really good show, but I haven't seen it being recommended once. To just watch it, I had to write to Vanille just to search it up because it wasn't showing up on homepage. Search through nothing! And I'm fearing this practice is gonna spread to other channels too, like Cartoon Network. Like, it already, they are just making shows that are probably supposed to be for their network, and they're just being put on to HBO Max. Seems Seems like AT&T can't run the channel anymore. But back to Nick. So Nick is just shoving shows onto Netflix to die. I mean, at least it's not as bad as Nick Tunes Network, because at least people have a chance of watching it on Netflix. But still, well, if you're watching me and you have Netflix, please support the three shows I've mentioned. And try to get, try to tell people who have Netflix about them, cause I really want them to succeed and show Nickelodeon that they should give shows like these a chance. Of course, checks is even worse, cause they literally stopped production in the middle of them producing a second season without the show even airing. <sighs> well, that was a long rant. So see you guys next time. Hopefully, with that loony beginning review I'm working on. Everything takes a long time. How do people that upload 10 minute videos, 10 plus minute videos daily do this? Okay, bye.